Good evening, everyone. I'm Kara Coleman. Thanks so much for choosing 19 news. This is home before we get a check of your first morning forecast tonight. The latest on the UP 200 that kicks off in just over 24 hours and after a year delay, mushers and organizers, they are ready to get back to it. Right now, mushers are arriving for check in at the Holiday Inn downtown, and that's where we find our Haley Potter. She is joining us this evening. Uh, Haley, tell us what it's like as we count down to the start line. Hi, Kara. It's definitely an exciting atmosphere here. Mushers have been coming in out of this room all day registering here at the Holiday Inn. And this is a race that takes an entire year of preparation, preparedness and planning. And our Isaac Petcash is outside with the very latest. Well, it's expected that hotels like the Holiday Inn would become more jam-packed as we get closer to race day, with the UP 200 being tomorrow. But as a fan, you get to come right before and leave right after the event happens. But for workers, the event literally starts the day after the previous one finishes. Not everything comes out. Meet Darlene yeah. Walsh, the brain trust behind the 32nd annual UP 200 you'll see this weekend. It's a race that's been in the works for quite literally a full year. When did you start preparing for this race? Right after the 31st ended. We have a wrap up meeting after the awards end on Monday and we go over everything that we could have done better. That's good. Simply put, preparation for race day involves several Ohio factors that you just can't rush. Factors Sam. like fundraising to cover costs, coordinating with hotels and other overnight accommodations, and most importantly, getting permission to map out the course. Every mile of trail that we run on, and we have over 200 miles of trail that we're back and forth and all around, we have to have trail permits. We need property owner permissions for every single parcel. We work with the U.S. Forest Service to get through their property. Now, of course, Waltz can't attack this alone. Thank you. Yep. She's tasked with gathering a team of more than 600 other helpers. The next 24 hours for them, the most crucial. Every last detail will be sorted out at the final planning meeting. No stone left unturned. Counter to most of the meetings we have, there's really no agenda. It's three things. What do you need? What are we missing? What do we got left to pull together? We've got 48 hours before we launch our first team. Darlene considers the UP 200 just like a musical production. Even if there are flaws, if you don't see any of the flaws, then the race is considered a success. We'll see how it all plays out less than 24 hours from now. Reporting from the Holiday Inn in a busy Marquette, Isaac Petcash, Channel 19 News.